What's up guys, it's Mitch with SC Weather. Uh, here to talk about some weather here and the heat expected over the next few days. If you haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button down there. I'm trying to get some growth here in a slow period we are definitely in right now. But uh, big time heat's gonna build starting tomorrow. Uh, I think temps will be starting to get back into the 90s. Um, uh, we've had a little break from, from the rain and tropical storm, uh, well not tropical storm, but tropical moisture has really been keeping our temps down. But the humidity, these are dew points for tomorrow. Dew points in the mid to maybe upper 70s. That's going to make for a brutal heat index. It is going to feel downright nasty tomorrow. Saturday, this is the European model too. Man, Saturday has highs pushing 100. I don't think we'll hit 100. I think this is maybe a little overdone. But I think most of the state is going to be in the mid, uh, low to mid to possibly upper 90s. Columbia is a famously hot spot, so we're going to see how that's going to be. One thing I'm watching, though, for Saturday, there's some drier air with some lower dew points, as you can tell, dictated on this, may sneak into the upstate and keep it a little, it'll be hot, man, but it will not be near as humid, I don't think, Saturday. Sunday, uh, uh, just still a brutally hot day, uh, temps. Well, you know, we're starting to enter the dog days of summer. Uh, not quite. I think D July 21st, 22nd is the technical first day of the technical dog days of summer, which is basically the hottest time of summer, if you will. Um, dew points definitely start to spike back up. Uh, the humidity builds. Um, I think there will be chances of rain each one of these days that may have a chance to cool us off sporadically. But I don't think it's going to be widespread. Uh, spread. So, um, we, we, you know, we start to get into Monday, still hot temperatures. Um, you know, you got some hot temperatures really pinpointing over the Midlands Monday. And, you know, we're, it's, just, it's just hot. It's just hot as, hot as hell, basically. And, you know, it's that time of the year where it doesn't – the average temperature already is in the low 90s. So, Really getting in the upper 90s really isn't that big of a um, above average from um, you know what we're used to. So dew points are really it's going to be nasty next week as far as temperatures, and I think we may begin to slip into a heat wave. Um, whatever the criteria of that is, is probably I think two or three days of highs above 100 degrees. Um, I think we have a chance at 100 degrees next week, and especially, you know, this is Tuesday, especially as we get deeper into the week. But let me get into rainfall through Tuesday p.m. The good thing is we've got a lot of heat to deal with the next few days and humidity, but I think there's a decent chance of pop-up storms really anywhere in the state, uh, maybe anywhere from a tenth of an inch of rain to where you're located to maybe an inch or two. Got a little bit of rain even here today, but... Midway next week, and it's still early, very early, but check out that in the southeast, uh, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Uh, these are high, high temperatures for next Wednesday. We may start to slip into a heat wave, unfortunately. You can't, you can't get rid of it forever. You can't keep it away forever. It's going to happen eventually. Most every summer, we at least get a day in the hundreds. Um, so, uh, you know, maybe late next week is our day. Check it out. Uh, I don't think it's going to get that hot. 105 in the upstate. That's ridiculous. Um, but look, it looks like widespread 100s uh, late next week. So we're going to watch that, and I'm going to see how that unfolds. But it's something to watch. Uh, man, it's just getting to that time. We're getting deeper into July. July and August are two of the hottest months of the year. Um, that's all I got. I'll keep you all updated. Ain't a whole lot going on besides that. Uh, Tropical Storm Faye looks to form and it's going to affect uh, the – may cruise right into New York City. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to talk much about that because that's not our state. But that's all I got. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and uh, you'll have a blessed evening.